help people find certain sections of your YouTube videos by using the chapter tool. Not only can they see little bar bits that they can hop and jump to, but using timestamps in the description, they can jump to very specific things or lessons within a very long video. That's what we look into today. Here we go. YouTube timestamps just got a little bit more powerful. Not only can you scrub through the bar at the bottom, but you can now click the little arrow and have mini cutouts on the right hand side which act as little mini episode timestamps that you can use in educational content or jumping to very specific parts with little sub titles to do this what you need to do is go to the video that you're, you wish to edit click edit video of course you can do this from your youtube dashboard and you would arrive on the same page and you'll see here that i've got timestamps now it's not necessarily writing timestamps that start them what starts them is this very important one here, zero dot dot zero zero. Now look very carefully when I zoom in on this. It's not a, it's not a full stop. It's the dot dot that you have on a clock. So it starts with zero zero dot dot zero zero. This tells YouTube this is the start of the video. This is where you should start putting markers. And then I start adding timestamps anywhere I wish that are related to that video. Now in this case, as I scroll down, they're kind of mini subheadings. How I made one month worth of content in one day. Bulk recording, should I bulk record YouTube videos? Set up your equipment. Plan your content. Split longer videos. Scheduling YouTube content. Now each one of these, once saved, will get a little mini slot and scrollable timestamp here. And when you click the arrow, they become the little sessions over here. Now why is this important? Well, if you was to add a little timestamp, for example, this one here, how to add an end screen in 2021, when you put the specific timestamp here on Google search, it will tell me this clip here, which is the most suggested the 59 seconds, will answer my direct question. And when I click play, it jumps to that part of the video. What you need to do first, and it will show me that section in search of that exact tutorial on how I do it. Why is that powerful? Well, if you can rank at the top of search engines with the answer to their question in video format, you can get a huge amount of views. You can see here, my video got picked up in YouTube search here, and it did really well. However, this video got picked up in external search results and did even better, three quarters of a million views. And you can see here that it jumps immediately to that section in the video in the search result. It clumps out that section, even uses the captions here of exactly what I've said. And you scroll down to any video and you click the three dots and you'll see the option to download. This is why you use the timestamps. Now you've got your timestamps, now it's time for keeping their attention. Watch this video.